There is no other law than the Constitution of the United States of America. On Sunday, worshippers packed into the river at Tampa Bay Church despite health warnings, strict social distancing guidelines, and an order to close all but essential services. Its pastor, Rodney Howard Brown, received several warnings from police before he was arrested on Monday. The authorities say his actions are a reckless disregard for human life. Shame on this pastor, their legal staff, and the leaders of this church for forcing us to do our job. That's not what we wanted to do during a declared state of emergency. The church says its building is sanitized and they kept worshipers apart. But their live stream of Sunday service shows people breaking guidelines meant to prevent the spread of the coronavirus. Florida limits gatherings of more than 10 people, including religious services. Lawyers for the church allege the enforcement is a form of discrimination, but authorities disagree. Lastly, I'd remind the good pastor of Mark 12:31 which says there's no more important commandment than to love thy neighbor as thyself. Loving your neighbors is protecting them, not jeopardizing their health by exposing them to this deadly virus. Like many of this state's megachurches, the river at Tampa Bay has the technology to broadcast its services online. But Rodney Howard Brown is no stranger to controversy. He says he can personally heal Florida of the coronavirus, has touted conspiracy theories and been described as an extremist. Authorities say he endangered the lives of thousands, but he's not alone. In Louisiana, hundreds of worshippers defied bans on large gatherings in a state that could soon see hospitals overwhelmed. Leaders at the Life Tabernacle Church near Baton Rouge say they're not forcing anyone to worship, but their actions have been condemned. COVID is unpredictable, and we're learning new things about it literally every day. There are so many more questions than answers. Why would you want to put your loved ones at risk like that? In Virginia, one of the most prominent evangelical universities reopened its doors to students despite warnings. At least one student has now contracted the coronavirus. On Monday, the state's governor ordered all higher education institutions to stop on-campus lessons. The decision by some religious leaders to flout warnings meant to slow the pandemic are being condemned as ignorant, dangerous and irresponsible. Andy Gallagher, Al Jazeera, Miami, Florida.